Okay, so the spray that I used this morning is this spray here. And I really like this. It's Kendra Platinum. It's a little expensive, but as you can see, it's huge. Um, 10 ounces finishing spray, maximum hold hairspray. And I said it came out really flat. So what I like to do is rough it up. The wind's gonna help me. <laughs> I hope. I almost blew away, didn't I? Hold on, let me put something back there. Something blew away. Ah, it grayed out the worst. Okay. So I'm looking up at that bird. So here we go. We have short layers back here. Last layers on this side, which you can sweep into different areas and use spray. We have permatease here all along the part. And as you can see at the ear, you can play with the sideburns as well as that sweep, big sweep layer here that you can play around with. It can go back at times and sometimes it goes forward. And a little more sweep since it's on the side, side part. A little more sweep on this area. Sometimes train it just to start with and pull it off kilter a little bit. Because I like some height on the top. So what I did is I pulled this over. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. Gave this just a little touch of spray. Worked it in with my fingers. All right. And I'm using my wig comb so it won't hurt the fibers. Bring it down. And do it a little more. I lift it up. Spray. Let it dry a little. And as you can see, if you wanted the lace front, you can even show off a great evening look by just bringing a couple pieces down, some long diamond earrings that we all have, <laughs> if we're lucky, and tuck this side a little tighter. That's always nice. All right, so you get the height more hair to work with than for a short style than you'd ever expect. Okay. I think that's chic. What do you think? I like it. You can do the little Elvis <laughs> bang, which I think is fun. Let these come in. If you don't wear glasses, let me take this off and just give you an idea of what that might look like, too. All right. And I've tucked my hairline. It's very short anyway, up there. But I haven't tightened the straps to keep it in place. So if you see a little bit of my hairline, that's just because I haven't tightened the adjusters. So just give you an, another idea what we can do to get more looks out of our wigs. I did also, I'll do a close up here. I used foundation makeup to alter the knots. I just used that foundation and a little brush and put a little foundation in here so it didn't look so um, dark all the way and uniformed all the way across. And you can play around with that, whatever you're comfortable with. Let's see what else I have here for you. A little accent piece that we can add, add in if we wanted to. If I wanted to pull a little bit up and away from my face to get a little artsy fartsy, we can do that. Nice young look. This is a very hip style, I think. Very versatile. So you can do a lot of things.
if you want to know how big it can get that for some women we like to know the movement the visibility you can't mess this up too much do you understand what i mean you don't want perfect hair in a wig you want livable hair so if it blows you can bring it back very easily to, some, to something that looks chic. If it's bugging you, tuck it. And you have the sideburns there. A little tab sideburns, so it looks very natural. Where my sideburns are gone from alopecia. And I just like to pull out just a teeny bit of hair so it's not too masculine. And that light color on my skin, I think, is more feminine than um, some colors, than I think. But this is really cool. I like this. I know you all like me and blondes and reds. But at some point, I think it's good to know which lighter colors that lend themselves a little more to a mature hair color um, I might want to go to at some point. And this cut is definitely one I would probably want to get a different color in in the meantime. Now there is permatease in the crown as well. I'll show you the inside. Here's my wake up hair. I wake up alopecia hair. There's her root. The lace again. You can see when I put my hand up there. Hopefully. The long layers. Rooting all the way on all the under layers as well. Okay. And the fiber is, when I spray it, just a little coarse, more coarse. But when I first got her, it's really silky. And that's why it laid kind of flat. So um, you need a little spray on it to, I think, bring it into a proper piece, PC look or a little more layered look. When I look at the root, it, it does, in real life, when you're, I'm looking at it like this, it does not look as dark as when I have it when I take a picture of myself. So you're going to have to meet those judgments, um, but it's beautiful. It has such a, a light, I'm comparing it to a white, white. This is almost white highlights, but not quite. It's just a tinge of blonde in it, very soft blonde to make it a little more highlighted. Monofilament part which is really nice. So the part looks more natural. You get to see your skin through it. So if you're wearing a, a cap, a wig cap, just make sure it matches your skin so it doesn't scream obvious wig, which I don't think this one would because it's, it's just made with more quality than a lot of them. So I'm gonna put her back on because I like her. I just dive in like a swimming pool. Remember that trick? <laughs> Put your forehead in. And I have just the whole a hold of the back of that. Pull it down over my hair. And then I sweep that to the side and try to find those sideburns to get it centered where my sideburns would be. Then I do the forefinger like Patty taught us in Patty's Pearl up to the hairline and adjust her and go live my life and have fun. So that's what I expect you all to do and tell your friends, family, you're good. You're good, you're doing better, all right? Enjoy her, I hope you enjoyed the review. I think give it a thumbs up for sure. It's not overly expensive and they have a lot of colors. Um, I just think she's really cute. I'm looking forward to wearing her a lot and I even got the thumbs up from the hubby. So I hope you're, you're lucky like that too. Take care. Love you all. 
keep in touch and keep putting comments in. That's important to me. And share my, my video. I think people who are close to you, even friends and family that want to care for you, having this kind of information helps them to share it if you can, at least a couple of them. I have a lot of videos to pick from and I'm sure one will speak to you. That's what I'm trying to do. Lift your spirits and everyone else's if I can. Be well. Bye-bye.